CAD flat series of videos. Today we're going to look at the transmission that's been added to the already reported engine and you heard it running last time. We have here a uh, Turbo 700 R4. As you can see it's fitted with an adapter to match up to the Cadillac engine. I've also gone to the trouble of hooking up the shift indicator mechanism, the torque converter lockout and installed the bracket for the shifter. The other, the other item installed was the uh, electronic sensor for the speedo and underneath a homemade cover for the original Cadillac flex plate and uh, I've utilised a General Motors aluminum cover that I believe comes from a T200 transmission. It's not a perfect fit but it's better than nothing and it's solid that's for sure. So if that helps anybody take advantage of my lead. On the other side of the transmission I've hooked up the tele cable and adapted it to the twin carburetor setup. Nothing's quite finished, everything's fitted and installed but there's some finishing touches to go around the engine at different places. Also the, the oil dipstick tube has been installed. And the transmission rear mount rubber. I'm hoping our next video will show the whole unit installed into the chassis. It's one thing to consider when playing with these engines and a lot of other engines of course but this one in particular I've estimated that uh, the weight of the engine, the adapter, uh, oil in the transmission and the engine is somewhere around about 1350 pounds to lift. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a big weight and uh, I've had to make some changes in my workshop to safely cope and manage with a manage a load of this size, uh, I've gone to the trouble of making some purpose-made hitching points at the heads. These engines don't have a lot of places to hook onto or put bolts into. Um, the exhaust pipes at the front could interfere also with the uh, the mount, the engine mount. If I hook chains on there, I'm not sure how that'll work yet, but. I've gone to the trouble of making a lifting device and uh, I would suggest that anybody that doesn't have a tractor or a, uh, a two or four post hoist that they could utilise that they would need to think seriously about having some decent lifting gear. My lifting gear is a homemade gantry with an electric winch that uh, will, will at least lift at least uh, 2,000 pounds I'd like to believe. So I'm hoping that will get me by. Anyway, thanks again for visiting my video and uh, look forward to the next one where we have the engine in the frame and running.